12 crystal skulls are supposedly secured by private collectors somewhere across the planet, whether on the surface or in the center of the earth. And supposedly only one, the 13th skull, remains to be found. And you have to ask yourself, is the 13th skull, would it be as rare as if Hot Toys were to announce an eternal Sith, a Darth Revan, a George Clooney, Batman? Wait a minute, it looks like I'm getting a call. Is it from an otherworldly being? Let's pick it up and find out. Hello? You're the 13th Crystal Skull? Where can I find you? Is it true that when all the skulls come together, not only would we get a greater collective consciousness, but would we also be able to get all of the future Hot Toys announcements at one time? What do you mean, what is a Hot Toy? Aren't you supposed to be like an all... Hello? Hello? Let's go ahead and dive into all this. Right now. All right, and welcome to another episode of 100 Proof Shorts right here at Six Scale Cantina. I am your host, Aries Tarrington. Let's go ahead and get right into it, baby. Inside market trends incoming. And when you look at these figures that are up on the banner, they directly correlate to a couple of the uh, cheeses that Hot Toys gave us at the end of 2023. You see the 85 years of Batman that they're going to be commemorating in 2024. In addition to Star Wars Dark Side, and that is open to interpretation, uh, you know, to what that means. But certainly a lot of darkness on this banner for sure and let's go ahead and start off talking about some of these and let's go ahead and lead it off actually speaking about star wars dark side and i find this to be very intriguing intriguing because i believe it is so open-ended that we could get dark side characters from all across Star Wars canon, whether it's comic books, movies, television shows, expanded universe, so on and so forth. And honestly, now that they've introduced What If, although I think that they would um, put a hot toy out with the What If banner, but what I'm saying is, I feel like the possibilities are endless. But let's really go into the obvious. Star Wars Dark Side. And when you go ahead and look at this, one of the first couple of characters that come to mind when you, when you take a look at this is Dark Side Anakin. And when you see this up on the screen right here, pulling this up onto the screen you know i have had some people um inquire hey how is mms 486 the dark side anakin performing within the secondary market and you can see right here 610 dollars but what's interesting is it's not even including the 73 dollars 
in shipping. So you have to ask yourself, is the demand for dark side Anakin absolutely right now evident? And I say, yes. And we had taxes well over $700, even in this economy, for a dark side Anakin. And really, this is almost the same. And I mean the same exact figure as the Revenge of the Sith, regular Anakin Skywalker. Both of those figures go for buku bucks in the secondary market. The regular Anakin, about 150, you know, less, uh, you know, uh, uh, sometimes could be up to 200, but still goes between four and five hundred dollars. This one really between six hundred and fifty to eight hundred and fifty dollars. So when you look at that right now, and 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 listen, I mean, this figure, besides the fact of what it represents, the original iteration of Darth Vader, according to George Lucas's prequels, this was Darth Vader. Before he got all the scarring and uh, all the the health problems because of his battle with Obi-Wan and, you know, he got burned and all that stuff. And this is Darth Vader. Dark Side Anakin, remember this, is actually Darth Vader, not just in concept, but in canon. Because during Revenge of the Sith... Emperor Palpatine said, Heads forth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. And this is Darth Vader. Last I checked, very, very big demand for that Dark Lord of the Sith for six-scale collectibles. But what's interesting is they came out with yet another more improved Revenge of the Sith, Anakin. And you can see right here, this artisan edition of Anakin Skywalker is Anakin. The difference being a new head sculpt, rooted hair, rolling eyes function, lead USB lightsaber. Wow, incredible base, or at least better than any of those sand bases that we were getting and would they actually do the same thing again would history repeat itself they put out the original anakin and then gave you a dark side version of almost the same exact figure would history repeat itself here and they would actually do it again what happens before happens again and i say Yes, I really believe that they would go ahead and they would do this. And gosh, remember, Dark Side Anakin, Darth Vader. Let's call him Darth Vader. Looking like this before he, you know, got burned, was in. Um, I mean, how many, uh, uh, you, you, you know, series? Uh, okay, I mean, he was in the uh, um, the Obi Wan series. Um, he was in the. Uh, uh, Ahsoka series. Of course, he was in Revenge of the Sith. And certainly, with so many other things that are going on, there's so many ways that they could go ahead and do this figure. And the last thing, they called him Dark Side Anakin on the first release. And what does this actual tease, what is it called? Dark Side. All the signs, all the signs point towards a dark side Anakin for the Star Wars dark side line. Absolutely crazy. And when you're continuing to look at this, let's take a look at other things from the Star Wars dark side line. And 
one of the grandfathers, if you will, for lack of, uh, you know, no pun intended for many reasons that a lot of you know. Um, you know, obviously this figure right here for Return of the Jedi, this Emperor Palpatine deluxe version goes for a buku bucks, sold out on Sideshow as you see here, but goes for a buku bucks in the secondary market. Um, right now, anywhere between 550 to over $700, we already have a, re a, a Return of the Jedi Emperor Palpatine. Of course, we also have a Senator Palpatine Clone Wars version that is up for pre-order right now for the Clone Wars 20th Anniversary. As well. And what happens in 2025? The 20-year anniversary of Revenge of the Sith. So you have to wonder, would they actually put this out now? Or would they wait for the 20th anniversary of Revenge of the Sith coming in 2025? And perhaps for Star Wars Dark Side this year, actually give you something that some would say and suggest would be out of left field. But goodness gracious. I mean, here you go. From a movie that made over worldwide a billion dollars. And when you look at the numbers that it made over a billion dollars and you're seeing that they're coming out with all kinds of figures for box office bombs like The Flash and for shows that aren't doing really well, would a figure as iconic and as epic and badass looking as this particular figure right here would they be able to sell in a dark side version 1,500 of these like the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman? Would they be able to sell 2,500 Eternal Siths like the Elizabeth Olsen Artisan Scarlet Witch? How about 3,000? Just like they did with the Artisan Anakin. Could they sell 3,000 of these? And from all the data that I look through, I say, yes. May I suggest to you that now, because it's more and more announcements, which we've seen the most that we've ever seen in 2023, and then less production of those announcements with all the figures going on wait list a lot longer, seemingly a lot more exclusives as well, this would fit the bill and if you're going to do this again on a movie that made over a billion dollars okay and has the moniker of star wars on it and for a lot of people this was the highlight of the rise of skywalker what would be an accompanying piece that makes sense would it be this figure right here. And listen, say what you want about Dark Side Ray. Like the Emperor, they already have a lot of R&D work already with Ian McDermott, obviously with the Clone Wars version, and obviously with the aforementioned um, Return of the Jedi version of the Emperor, certainly with Daisy Ridley, with all the work they did with the Force Awakens figures, the Last Jedi figure, the Rise of Skywalker figure. And when you think about Dark Side Ray, number one, does it actually correlate and make sense with Dark Side toy lines? Yes, it's virtually the same name, and it's Star Wars. But let's look at some evidence. Why? Would Hot Toys do this? And let's actually look. Again, when you take into effect more and more announcements, but less production of those announcements, 
and already R&D work, and already a new relationship with Disney and Daisy Ridley, a lot of things going for it. When you go ahead and take a look at some things like this right here, here is from Hasbro, the Black Series. They put out a dark side ray. And this was after they came out with nothing during The Last Jedi and especially The Rise of Skywalker times with the backlash from The Last Jedi. Hardly nothing. They even stopped their three and three quarter inch line with The Rise of Skywalker due to the backlash of The Last Jedi. And even after all of that, they still went ahead and put out a dark side ray. And look, just one of the poses of her right there. She's not even gritting her teeth. She's just standing very sternly looking right at you. You see on that side picture there, Hasbro put this out. Why? Because they had data and evidence that suggests that this would sell. Furthermore, this is from a collectible company called Gentle Giant. And you can see for one of their cool busts here, and they do have a version, uh, uh, an changeable piece where you could put in the uh, um, the, the screaming uh, mouthpiece with her teeth showing and all of that. But even here, look at this right here. And Gentle Giant put out a dark side ray. So that's two companies when you take a look at that. Let's continue to go more. And right here, from a Funko and their pop line, what did they do? A dark side ray from Funko Pop. They also dived into putting out this particular niche cameo piece from the rise of Skywalker. I will continue to go on. And even more specialized collectible companies, like from EFX here, and this beautiful looking dark side ray lightsaber collectible, even they put out a dark side ray collectible. So you have to wonder, is it possible that Hot Toys now with a dark side line and now also with less production and more announcements and already R&D work, would they also put out a dark side ray? And I say, yes, it makes sense. You've got company after company after company after company putting her out. You've got a billion dollar movie. You've got a license from Disney, you've got Daisy Ridley signed back. You put that out along with an eternal Sith. All day you sell 1,500, 2,500, 3,000, or 4,000 copies like that artisan Joker all day long in my view. It is absolutely absolutely insane pause you're watching the market uh well you're not watching the market show I'm getting so excited you are watching uh, 100 proof shorts man i better drink some coffee mm. <clears throat> so what else is coming out and you see on the banner, what other logo is on there? It is 85 years of Batman. 85 years of Batman is another anniversary, if you will, that Hot Toys is commemorating here in 2024. And pulling that up onto the screen... You know, would they actually venture into more figures with 85 years of Batman from last year's Flash 
series. And pulling this up onto the screen, um, uh, you know, George Clooney came back for the Flash movie, and you know, you've got iterations of of um, Michael Keaton, not only from the '89 Batman, you know, from back then now, but you also got the older Michael Keaton that is coming out as well. And you have to ask yourself, is there a market for a George Clooney Batman? Not only from way back in the older films, but also from the Flash movie? And I say, yes. Now, how would they do this from the Flash movie? It's very interesting because he did not have, from what I saw anyway from the Flash movie, the Batman suit on. He didn't. But they could still do something. Whereas you're seeing Adam West here, he had his outfit on from the Flash movie. Could they do Adam West as well? Honestly, they already have this out. It goes for Buku Bucks in the secondary market. Is this something that they could go ahead and dive into a 2.0 for 85 years of Batman? Absolutely. It makes sense. And going back to Clooney, Clooney from this Flash movie right here that you're looking at, how would they do that, though? How would they give you a George Clooney from the Flash movie? Would it be one of those as also seen, where they give you an interpretation of what his suit would look like, you know, would they just give you, like, Bruce Wayne? Would they actually, you know, just do that? You know, would they give you some type of maybe DX, where you can incorporate, you know, the older head sculpt or something like that, along with the younger? I think that there's, like, a lot of possibilities that they could do. But honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I am not convinced in any way, shape, or form that Hot Toys is done with the Flash movie. There is ample opportunity now with the 85 years of Batman for them to go ahead and dive into this in any way that makes sense. Look, let's talk about it, baby. Would a George Clooney sell Batman, as well as a Scarlet Witch artisan? Yes. Would it sell as much as a figure from a movie that is not as coveted right now, like Love and Thunder, as like gore? Would Clooney Batman sell less or more than gore? Would Clooney Batman sell less or more than Gilgamesh from the Eternals? Would the Adam West Batman sell less or more than Gilgamesh from the Eternals or Gore from Love and Thunder? And when you start putting data and trends and thoughts into things like this, you could start trying to think of where Hot Toys may also be thinking of where they want to go for Batman 85 years and for Star Wars, Dark Side, and I didn't even bring up the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace, which they are also commemorating in 2024. But look, when you look at these here, it when you look at Batman, or you look at characters in Batman, or you look at Star Wars... Or, or, or Marvel, that does it all have to be for the anniversary of Marvel this year, all those years, or all the years of Batman, or all the years, the 25 years with the Phantom Men? Does it only have to be from there? Or could it actually be specifically from a particular, you know, uh, could, could, could it be from, you know, Iron Man 2? You know, or could it be something just from A New Hope? Does it have to be Dark Side? Could they give you... Uh, a Clone Wars Darth Vader, 
and not even dub it Star Wars Dark Side? Uh, Dark Side? I say yes. Not everything. Not every evil character, that villain that they come out with, is necessarily going to have this Dark Side logo. And and honestly, not every single um, Batman character may have this 85 anniversary logo on it either. And we have to keep that in mind for sure. And if you like what you are watching here right now, check this out, baby. You may want to consider joining my channel. If you do, I greatly appreciate the support. It's cheaper than a dozen eggs in many places, a gallon of gas in many places, uh, um, a quarter, half and half for your coffee baby in many cases. You know, I, I just came out with a lot, a lot of content. That library is rich. And yet another insider extra. And who's better, Hot Toys or In Art? When you look at these two figures, or you look at the Aragorn or Gandalf that In Art has coming out, and then you go ahead and take a look at the Anakin and the Scarlet Witch Artisan that is coming out for Hot Toys, and you also take into account the Supergirl that was prototype that was teased by Hot Toys, and the early prototype of the in art superman without the clark kent outfit but the superman outfit who is better um who wins in certain categories you're not going to want to miss this all you have to do is just click the little join button and see uh if you could benefit from it i do appreciate the support you could do it right on the channel you could do it now and click a lot of the uh, library that's up there and be ready to capture this insider uh, show coming up very, very uh, soon here over the next week or so for members. You don't want to miss this. Again, I appreciate the support indeed. I don't always buy coffee out in a skull. Is this a picture of the 13th skull? <laughs> but what I do? Mmm. I do it right here at Six Scale Cantina. Stay thirsty, my friends.